the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, my brother Mithika Linturi, Cabinet Secretary for Cooperatives, Small and Medium Enterprises, the Honorable Simon Chirgui, the Cabinet Secretary for Investment, Trade and Industry, the Honorable Moses Kuria, Excellencies Governors Present, our host Governor Kawira Mongaza, Honorable Members of the Senate and the National Assembly, the Principal Secretary is present, Chairs of various parliamentary committees and caucus, the academia, members of the cooperative movement, and the most important people in this conference, our distinguished farmers, good morning. God is good. And all the time, Mnisalimia kohaya bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. I register my appreciation to you for turning up for this Coffee Stakeholders Conference in the great country of Meru, which is on the eastern slopes of Mount Kenya. Converging in Meru for this critical meeting is significant. From this county, one of the regions whose men and women fought for Kenya's independence, and the greatest farmers of all time, we must resolve to liberate and dignify the coffee farmer by delivering economic freedom. For the next two days, we'll establish structures for long-term reforms in the coffee subsector. Distinguished guests and farmers, in the executive order number one of 2023, President William Ruto tasked me with overseeing public reforms, reforming the coffee, tea, and dairy subsectors, and this has formed part of my work. I has engaged stakeholders like yourself towards a turnaround to profitability. Distinguished farmers, this summit is a climax of wide consultations with farmers, various state and non-state agencies in the country and outside on sustainable reforms. For far too long, those who sweat most in producing the cash crop have benefited the least. And that is why we are here today, to make sure that those who toil most benefit the most and those who do little, benefit little along the way. We want to link the farmer to the consumer directly and do away with a big chain of middlemen between the farmer and the consumer. From the engagements, we have identified legal, policy, and operational gaps in the production and marketing chain. This is a key component of the output of this conference. Distinguished farmers, we are in full gear to delivering results in the coffee subsector, and the Ruto administration was elected on the promise of uplifting those at the bottom of the development stratum. With the high cost of Kenyan coffee in the international market, it is unacceptable that the Kenyan farmer gets almost nothing. The Kenyan farmer, therefore, should thrive economically, as it was the case years back. Our farmers must get maximum returns from their hard work. This will also boost our foreign exchange. We must rewrite history of the Kenyan coffee, which dates back to 1894. This brand was and still is known across the world by its superior and distinct aroma and flavor. President William Ruto and I have zero vested interest beyond saving the farmer. Indeed, coffee is a legacy crop for the Kenya Kwanzaa administration under Dr. William Ruto. Distinguished farmers, an estimated 800,000 smallholder growers 
in about 525 cooperative societies are waiting in hope. All eyes are glued to Meru. Farmers across the country are waiting the outcome of this conference. This Meru conference must midwife long-term and sustainable farmer-centered reforms in the coffee subsector. Distinguished guests, for this forum to achieve its goal, we need to collectively examine the current situation, and I invite all of you to speak openly and candidly in the interactive summit.